Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Kind of an unusual thing I'm going to show you tonight. Actually not show you, you're going to be able to hear it. I'm using a regular uh, dual band radio uh, TYT 7800 to be specific about it. But any dual band radio, <clears throat> analog only. Uh, what's happened here in my location near Quinlan, Texas is uh, we've got uh, K5VOM, Victor Oscar Mike, K5VOM, and uh, Dan, K5VOM, is very knowledgeable about uh, voice over IP and radios. So what he has done in conjunction with some other hands uh, is to establish a server and then connect various, uh, make that server a node and then connect various uh, other nets uh, and repeaters around the country to that server over uh, voice over IP. Uh, they have a little net every Tuesday evening at uh, starting at oh, 8 o'clock uh, Texas time. And uh, at that time, uh, you can uh, hear people checking into the net. Uh, literally from all over the country. Now, this is not D-Star, this is not IRLP, uh, you know, it's not Echo Link. Uh, this is simply uh, voice over IP utilizing a server. Uh, he's able to connect uh, wires, uh, D-Star, um, uh, What's the other one? Uh, Echo Link. Uh, although I haven't heard any Echo Links, but Dan told me he could do it if he wanted to. Uh, he hadn't, doesn't have one right now. But we'll get check-ins here in Quinlan, Texas from about 11 or 12 different states. Uh, so you'll hear folks checking in from Tennessee and from uh, Illinois and uh, Iowa, and, you know, all over the place. Uh, <clears throat> I got to say, the voice is not robotic sounding. Uh, as some of you know, if you're using wires or uh, if you're using uh, even DMR radio, it's a little bit robotic. Uh, in, in their system, it is not robotic. It sounds like an analog signal almost exactly like an analog signal. There's a little bit there, and you might be able to hear the difference, but I don't think so. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn the volume up on the radio uh, for a few minutes and let you hear some check-ins. So here we go with the K5VOM Tuesday night net starting at 8 o'clock. to get you some of these long distance uh, contacts that are coming in.
tell there's no robotic sounds there audio is extre extremely clear and uh, very natural sounding uh, Dan's a member of our club and uh, he's supposed to give us a little presentation at some point on how this was done and, uh, so that we have a better understanding of what exactly they did to connect these various systems uh, all to a particular server and then feed that audio back to various repeaters around uh, the country, analog repeaters. So let's listen in a little bit. That's a W7 call. W7, we're in the W5 call area. <clears throat> Again, another uh, long distance signal coming in. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, he's probably talking to a repeater located somewhere. That repeater is sending the signal to a internet node. And then that is uh, putting it out to the various uh, repeaters around the country. And then it's coming out. RF, radio frequency, and I'm hearing it, uh, radio frequency. From the local repeater. W7 EFL. Dan's uh, not very old. He's in his 30s. 90%. Maybe 40. said I'm gonna call this one a take uh, some really neat stuff going on with uh, UHF VHF communications right now <clears throat> and uh, I think for uh, emergencies or uh, disaster relief communications relief uh, this is a very neat technology because uh, can basically send a signal out and go across the country uh, and you know get help or assistance into an area that's been hit by some kind of natural disaster very easily. So I'm interested to see exactly how this works and waiting for Dan to come give us a little presentation on it but it seems to be working great. With that said, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Y'all be good. See y'all later. Come on back and subscribe.